What's up fam, this is your girl Amanda and I'm coming back to y'all with Amanda Vlogs. So let's talk Karuchi Tran. So y'all know who Karuchi Tran is. She is the ex-girlfriend of Chris Brown. And y'all, I see where she has filed a restraining order against Chris Brown, y'all. So it was saying that Chris needs to stay clear of Karuchi after she filed legal dots saying he vowed to kill her and he has beaten her up in the past. So in a sworn statement to the judge, she says that Chris told a few people that he was going to kill me. She then says Chris told the friends if he can't have her, then no one else can. Threatening he was going to take me out and threaten to shoot me. She also said that several years ago, Chris punched me in my stomach twice and pushed me down the stairs. This would have been during the time when Chris was um, on probation for beating up Rihanna. And the legal docs also claim Chris has threatened to harm her friends and even recently threw a drink at one of them. She is now worried that he may put those actions behind his words and that's why she went ahead and got that restraining order. And the domestic violence restraining order requires that Chris stay 100 yards away from Karuchi, her mom, and her brother. And so y'all know a couple of weeks ago I did make a video of Chris Brown going on a rant, honey, on Instagram. And in that rant, he did mention that if he can't have someone, then basically no one would. He'll make their life miserable. He'll make the person life who they're with miserable as well. But anyway, y'all, check out this video what Chris posted on his Instagram page. He later deleted it, though, but check this out. Y'all be complaining about niggas being, like, stalking and love with y'all kind of crazy shit get tired of them. Well, guess what? I'm one of them niggas. If I love you, bitch, ain't nobody gonna have you. I'm gonna make you miserable. I'm gonna chase that nigga out. I'm gonna chase your ass around. Yeah, and it's yeah. not, ladies, y'all ever dealt with a nigga that just be like blowing y'all shit up, popping gates, stalking the fuck out, you getting on your nerves? For shit. I'm one of them niggas. If I love you, bitch, ain't nobody gonna have you. Fuck that. I'm tearing up everything. Okay, y'all, so y'all saw that Instagram video that he had put up, but he later deleted. And I actually made a video about that as well. And y'all, this is not a good look. Chris, I was actually defending Chris for quite some time now. But y'all, if you're going to be doing some crazy, stupid ass shit like this, I can't keep defending him, okay? Y'all. He said it blatantly in this video that he was a stalker. And I was like, what kind of shit is this? You know, you don't say stuff like that on a video and then post it, but then later delete it. Because, you know, people quick, honey. They quick with the screenshots. They quick with the downloads, okay? You can't say nothing on the internet without people catching it, okay? So, Chris, I can't defend you no more, honey. I cannot defend you no more. Do not go around doing stupid shit like this. Stalking people, threatening to kill someone because you're not with them y'all are no longer together move on with your life if you can honey but why he's so hell bent on trying to stay and be around one person when there are so many females out there that he can get with y'all this is just some crazy behavior going on behind crit with chris i really love his music and i was defending him at one point but y'all this is some crazy shit right here especially if he's threatening to kill her and harm karuchi you know so anyway y'all let me know y'all thoughts about this whole situation with karuchi putting a restraining order on chris so y'all comment down below and let me know your thoughts and make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video bye